Yo, what is good, all my gamers out there? It's that one and only X Murder and Beast, and today you guys are watching that Killer Instinct. Though I'm using that freaking sexy ass Spider Queen Assassin Sidera on both online rank matches. I'm bringing you guys to as usual with the first match being against a laggy Shadow Jago. Don't worry, your internet isn't tripping out. His match was actually pretty laggy, but I believe that stayed in there because I think I, I was confident that I could take him, in which, you know, I was rightfully so. I actually do end up pu pulling off the victory. Then in the second match, you guys are going to be seeing me go up against Iglesias, but just wanted to let you guys know what you are watching, and I want to jump straight into the actual topic. Well, something that's just been on my mind here recently, and that is the whole next-gen experience. Now, I'm sure for a lot of you guys, you're probably enjoying it because you come from previous gen consoles the ps3 the wii and the um, xbox 360 so seeing some of these games like battlefield be at 900p on a playstation and 720 on the um xbox one running at 60 frames it's probably cool shit i think cop ghost runs at 1080p on the uh playstation and so does killer instinct not killer instinct excuse me kill zone they both start with a k forgive me for that i know sony fans are probably at rage right now but no, that game runs at 1080p as well, so a lot of you guys have probably been enjoying your next-gen experience, and as have I, but there's just been something that's on my mind, and that is, I've already been kind of getting this next-gen experience before the next-gen consoles was even out with my PC. Now, as of right now, the Xbox One hasn't offered me anything that I couldn't have on my PC as far as just the experience now I know obviously there's gonna be these exclusive games that are gonna be coming out but it's like the whole 1080p is already there on PC the whole freaking um, higher graphic or better graphics excuse me and this is 60 frames per second that's already been on my PC and no guys I'm not trying to um, do this whole PC is superior than consoles bullshit you guys you know I like playing video games no matter what is on but it's just kind of true and I end up, it just made me ended up thinking that I mostly bought the Xbox one or at the time I was thinking about buying a PS4 basically off a of hype excuse me kind of just heard the door closing in the background but no, the console, I pretty much just bought it off a of hype. You know, there is this whole next-gen hype, like, oh my gosh, you, you have to have a next-gen console or you're just, like, not in it, you know you I mean? You're not going to be cool, all that stuff. Well, I mean, you guys get what I'm saying. Like, you kind of just had to have a next-gen console because, well, it was just the next best thing. But it's just, like I, like I said, it's just um, hasn't been giving me this next gen experience that i haven't already had sure it's cool to see battlefield at 60 frames per second but it's like well i already had 60 frames per second battlefield on my pc you know the high textures and all that stuff it has already been there for me so it isn't exactly anything new that the next gen console is offering me so it's been pretty much leading me to think that i should just let go of the xbox one for now now note i haven't said anything in song so if you're an xbox guy don't jump the gun and i'm the type of guy that buy a console twice so if i end up letting it go then you know it's uh, i'll probably end up getting it again once the games pick up but if I let my Xbox go, there is some PC parts that I do need, like an SSD and a copy of Windows. And hell, with a little bit extra money, I can save up and buy i5 because I'm rocking with an i3 CPU right now. So there are some parts that I need to get that can make my PC better. But overall, guys, the next gen consoles haven't really been offering me this experience that I haven't already had with the PC. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. How you been enjoying your consoles? Have you been enjoying that next gen experience or is it some more of the same to you guys? You guys let me know in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Laters.